Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy on PC and uh, welcome to Trader or the Trader mod. And this, this video I'm going to show you how you can change the prices of stuff in in your trader. So if you're, if you're unfamiliar with the trader, basically um, the Trader mod creates safe zones at Green Mountain and Kimono, I think is the one I'm at now, whereby you can talk to these friendly NPCs and they will buy things off you if you've got them and they will sell things to you as well. Everything from weapons to consumables to food to clothes to cars, all that sort of wonderful stuff. It also creates um, yeah, a safe zone so you can't get shot or, or zombies. Very, very useful indeed. But... Depending on the type of server you've got, you may well want to change the balance of the trader. You know, so how much the stuff, how much the stuff costs, what could actually be at the trader as well. You know, if you were running a more hardcore server, but you still wanted some sort of trader, you could have it so things are very expensive and also limit the amount of things that were that were at the trader. So, what we'll do? Let's come out of here and let's get stuck in. Let's take that out as well. Um, and in this video, I'm kind of assuming you've either you've already got the trader mod set up on your server, and you want to adjust it, or maybe you've got it set up on your local server, um, and you want to uh, change the prices uh, in, in it that way. So first up, let's have a look at the file um, that we want. Um, it's definitely not that one. <laughs> Let's look at the file that we want to play around with. So what you want to do is you want to go to your um, server. Uh, this is my Nitrado uh, PC server where I've got the, the trader mod onto it. And we want to go to the file browser. Um, and Daisy standalone. And then what you want to find is... The config folder. Now, sometimes it's not called config. Sometimes it's called settings. It can have lots of different names. But when you click inside this particular folder, you'll find the um, um, you'll find lots of different um, crash files and logs like this. But as you can see, there's the trader config. And if we click on that, the file we're interested in is traderconfig.com txt or dot text so what you want to do is you want to download that now if you're doing this on a local server again it'll be in your config folder or your settings folder and there it is trader trader config so we want to open that up in our local uh, on our local pc in something like notepad plus plus so here we are so here's trader config dot text opened up in notepad plus plus and as you can see as we scroll down, you can see all of the items and the prices. So the more expensive price on the left, that's the price that you as a player would have to buy the item off the trader for. And the item on the on the price on the right is what you, you, you can sell it to them at. It's always going to be uh, more expensive to buy than it is to sell. Otherwise, you could make money just by buying and selling, buying and selling. Um, and so you can go through and you can manually change these figures and then save the file, re-upload it over the top of the, of the other one, restart the server, and um, that would give you different prices. However, there is another way to do it as well. And if you go to the Steam page and then go to the Discussions tab and then go to the one that says Pinned Trader Price Editor, um, and you scroll down. I, I had to download the full version, but when you download the full version, remember you do this at your own risk if this is a .exe file, so you need to scan it for viruses and stuff like that. You then get this rather handy program. And what you can do with this is you go file open, open up the trader config, and you'll get this. And what you can see here is that all the different things and the buy value and the sell value so it's much easier to go through and adjust values here than it is well is it much, well, it is a bit easier yes because you can look at specific uh, specific things and then you can file save that um, and then you know once you've saved it and you're happy you would go back to the uh, config file and then you would go upload file and you would upload it over the top of the uh, existing file and then restart the server um, now you may well be using FTP um, 
And just remember, the mistake people often make when they're messing around with traders is they look inside the trader um, mod on their server, um, and then they see the server profile folder, and they adjust the uh, trader config in that particular bit, but it's not that one. It's, all, it's always the one that's inside your config or your settings folder. Um, the trader config.txt, that's the one that you have to adjust. And as I say, um, edit it, save it, restart the server, and you'll be good to go with adjusted prices for a more balanced um, trader experience or a less balanced one, depending on how you want to run it. Now, remember, Trader by Dr. Jones is incredibly useful, adds so much to Daisy. So make sure you go over to his Twitter and you'll see a link to his, um, uh, I think he's got a link to his PayPal. Drop him a few bucks because this really is a fantastic part of Daisy. And I think if Bohemia Interactive, if you're listening, if you're watching this video, if you want Daisy on console to explode even more, just put this trader mod into console. People would absolutely love it. Anyway, there we go. Hopefully you find that video useful too. If you have, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.